You guys, this looks like a fun one. We're given a stack of congruent rectangles and the height of the stack is equal to 22. And it's asking what is the total shaded yellow area? How would we solve this? If you wanna try it on your own, pause it right now because I'm gonna solve it in three, two, one. So first let's write a formula for the shaded yellow area. If we call the little side of the rectangles X, and the longer side h, each rectangle will have an area of xh, so the area we're trying to find is 6xh. This looks important, let's put a box around it. And now we gotta find the values of x and h. I think we can do Pythagorean theorem with this right triangle. This little side is x, the longer side is h, this little side is x, and this longer side is h. And here's the right triangle. The base of the right triangle is equal to h, the hypotenuse is equal to x plus h, and to get the height of the triangle, let's move this x over here. It'll be this whole height h minus x. So it'll be h minus x. And now we have everything we need to do the Pythagorean theorem. It'll be h squared plus the quantity h minus x squared equals the quantity h plus x squared. From here, we can copy down the h squared. The h minus x squared means the same thing as h minus x times h minus x, which ends up multiplying to this. And that's gonna be equal to the quantity h plus x squared, which is the same thing as h plus x times h plus x, which multiplies to this. Now we have a lot of stuff common on both sides. We can subtract h squared from both sides. We can subtract x squared from both sides. And we can subtract 2xh from both sides. On the left-hand side, these h squareds will cancel each other out, and so will the x squareds. And then on the right-hand side, the h squareds will cancel, and so will the x squareds. And then from here, since we have a plus minus, these two will cancel out, which leaves us with a zero on this side. And then since both of these are negative 2xh, they're gonna combine to give us negative 4xh. So now we got h squared minus 4xh equals zero. From here, each of these terms contains an h, so let's factor out h. H times what gives us H squared? Well, that's H. And then H times what gives us negative 4XH? That'll be negative 4X. From here, anytime you have something times something equals zero, it'll be true if either of those somethings equals zero. So we have H equals zero or H minus 4X equals zero. Since H represents the height of a rectangle that exists, H equals zero is not a possibility. And then for the other scenario, we can add 4X to both sides. That'll give us H is equal to 4X. And now we got to find the other equation. Oh, let's plug it into this. In the place of this h, let's plug in 4x. 6 times 4 is equal to 24, and x times x is equal to x squared. So now we have a new formula for our area, 24x squared, in terms of just x. So then what are we going to do next? We can substitute for these h's as well. This h will be 4x, and x plus 4x is 5x. And then this h is 4x, and this h is also 4x. And then for this part of the triangle, we have 4x minus x, which is 3x. And now we got rid of all the h's. So we're not gonna need any of this anymore. So what are we gonna do next? We haven't done anything with the 22. So this 22 would be equal to the 4x plus this 4x plus this last little bit right here. Let's call it k. So 4x plus k plus 4x equals 22. And then 4x plus 4x is 8x, so we have k plus 8x equals 22. We just introduced a new variable. So once again, we have two variables and one equation, so we gotta find another equation. Let's complete this right triangle right here. This side is equal to k, and this side, the hypotenuse, is equal to x. Now this blue right triangle and this black right triangle are similar triangles. I don't really have enough room to show the proof right here, but I did just do this proof not that long ago. If you wanna see the logic behind the proof that these two triangles are similar, check out this video right here. I did it a couple weeks ago, it was uploaded August 7th. Since the two triangles are similar, their sides will be proportional. We can say the ratio of the hypotenuse of the black triangle over the medium side of the black triangle is equal to the ratio of the hypotenuse of the blue triangle over the medium side of the blue triangle. Well, this hypotenuse is 5x and the medium side is 4x and this hypotenuse is x and the medium side is k. Before we cross multiply, let's simplify this side. The x on top and bottom will cancel each other out. And now we can cross multiply. 5 times k will equal 4 times x. And then to solve for k, let's divide both sides by 5. And that gives us k is equal to 4x over 5. 
Now we're done with this and let's bring these up here. Since k is equal to 4x over 5, in the place of this k, we can substitute 4x over 5. And then I don't really like fractions, so let's get rid of this denominator. Let's multiply both sides of the equation by 5. This 5 is going to distribute to each of these terms. It'll look like this. For the first term, the 5 and the 5 will cancel each other out, leaving us with 4x. For this term, 5 times 8 is 40 and then 4x plus 40x is 44x. And then on the right-hand side, 22 times 5 is 110. And now we've almost solved for x. Let's divide both sides by 44. And that leaves us with x is equal to 55 over 22, which is equal to 5 over 2. And now we have our value for x. Let's give ourselves some room and let's plug five halves in for x. To do five halves squared, we can square both the top and the bottom. Five squared is equal to 25 and two squared is equal to four. 24 divided by four is six and six times 25 is equal to 150. And that is the answer to our question. The total shaded yellow area of this figure is 150. How exciting.